This video is sponsored by Dev Mountain. If you're interested in learning web development, iOS, or UX design, Dev Mountain is a 12 week design and development boot camp intended to get you a full time position in the industry. To learn more, visit devmountain.com or click the link in the description below. Hey, what's going on, guys? So, every now and again, I like to do a video giving you guys some resources, whether they're educational or just things you can use, things that can come in handy. So, in this video, I'm going to give you 10 resources for free themes or for websites and applications. And you may be someone that, that never uses pre made themes that builds everything from scratch. But there's a lot of situations where themes could come in handy. For instance, if you're, you could be an excellent programmer, excellent backend engineer, but suck at doing things in the UI and, and creating layouts and stuff like that. Um, also, maybe you have clients that are cheap and they don't want to pay for a custom design. Um, I, of course, I would suggest that you tell them it's a pre made theme uh, if you're going to use one, but that may be another situation. Also, for personal projects, this is where I find these really useful. Uh, I don't really care about having a pre made theme as long as it looks good and it can put my product out there or. Um, if, I, if I'm using it for prototyping for an application, that's when they really come in handy as well. Uh, so let's jump in here. This is an, a medium article that I created just to kind of go along with the video. And the first one we're going to look at is HTML5 up. Okay, so it's HTML5 up.net. And this is probably my favorite one on the list because the, the themes here are just really, really nice. They're the, they're, they have the quality of premium themes. And they're all free. There's like 40 or 50 of them. They're they're very uh, unique. And a lot of times with sites like this, you'll see that they're very the themes are very generic. They all look the same. These are all very different. As you can see, each one is very different than the next. And they're not only for just websites, they're for applications as well. Like this would be a really nice interface for an application. Uh, you know, this one here. So th they're really cool. So let's take a look at one of these. We'll go ahead and click on live demo for this uh, ether rail. And this one is is really unique. It's actually a horizontal layout. So if I just hold my mouse and drag, I can look at the different sections. When I get to the images here, I can hover over them. If I click the image, we get this uh, light box. So really cool. And with HTML5 up, you can see the tablet version. It kind of puts a Chrome around it like a tablet Chrome portrait version. And you can see the mobile version. So it shows you exactly what it's going to look like on these devices. And notice that it goes into vertical mode on uh, on like a, a small mobile device, a smartphone. So these are all very responsive themes. So you might want to check this site out. Uh, and another thing I like is they're all just HTML5 CSS3, no bootstrap. A lot of the sites I'm going to show you, they have a lot of bootstrap themes. These are all just HTML, so they're very easy to integrate with with anything, really, any kind of application or or website. So the next one is start bootstrap. Obviously, these are bootstrap themes, uh, but I've been using this site for years and I really like it because they're they're starter themes. They're made for you to be able to customize and add to the way the markup is written is really easy to change. Um, also, one thing I've used this site for over and over is prototyping. When I'm built, when I'm building applications or experimenting with uh, frameworks, back end frameworks, and I need some kind of front end, I'll grab one of these themes and use it. Uh, they also have different categories. Like you can see, there's a portfolio. They have an admin theme, which is pretty cool. If I click this button, I show some more. We have a resume, a coming soon page. This coming soon actually has a, a playing video in the background, which is cool. Uh, let's, I want to show you this admin one, though. This is this is nice. So this here you could use for an admin panel or control panel if you are building a, maybe a content management system or a blog platform, an e-commerce platform. It's a way for your users to kind of see see their posts and stuff like that uh, or your admin users probably. But um, yeah, they, in this charts and everything and it looks really overwhelming, but it's actually really easy to implement. I didn't use this one. I used the SB admin one this right here. I implemented this with a PHP code igniter app a couple years ago. I think it looked a little different, but it was really easy to implement. It was uh, it was a content management system and I used this for the back end and uh, used the chart and stuff and the tables and, and it worked out really well. So that is startbootstrap.com. 
Next one we have is templated.co. And this site has almost 900, has 867 uh, free HTML, CSS themes. So that's, these are really cool. And I don't believe that they're, they're bootstrap. They're just pure HTML, CSS. And, uh, there's premium themes down at the bottom, but these are all free. If I click next, these are all free. So there's almost 900 of them. And if we want to take a look at one of the demos, so I mean, pretty simple, but not bad. And then up here you can scroll through. If you want to look at the next one, next one these are all really simple they do have some that have like um like fade in effects and animations maybe those are on the home page like the first ones because there were some pretty decent ones let's check yeah like this one this fades in and then it actually has a video in the background this one too It has like a um, sticky menu at the top. So if you scroll down and this comes in from the side, so it's it's they're pretty nice for free themes. So the next one is freehtml.co and uh, like most of these sites, they have premium themes as well. But if we go up here to free templates, what I noticed about this site is there's a lot of different uh, categories and a lot of themes that are really good for like applications, not just websites. For instance, uh, If we go to like hotel travel, uh, what I don't like, though, is a lot of these are bootstrap, like all of these, all of these travel themes are bootstrap. Not that that's a bad thing. I mean, I, I like bootstrap, but I wish they had more options for just HTML, CSS. But uh, let's take a look at, at this theme. So this looks really good. It, it, you could build a travel website and use this as your front end and it would look really professional. Scroll down here. Got some got these counters here. So obviously this uses some kind of uh, JavaScript, probably jQuery, especially since it's bootstrap. But yeah, there's some really nice themes here. So that is free HTML 5 co. Next one is color lib. This one also has a lot of different categories. In fact, I was going to use. Let me see. Let's go to real estate. I was going to use one of these for my Django course. This one right here, I actually based my bootstrap theme that I created on this theme. So let's go to preview. And if you, any of you guys took my Django course, you'll notice it. If we go down here, this probably looks really familiar. This is where I got the, the idea for the, the details. But yeah, this looks pretty good, you know, for a real estate site. And you got your search up here. Obviously, this doesn't work. It doesn't do anything. You would have to add your functionality with some kind of uh, programming language or some kind of framework. But it's a it's a nice front end. It's it's a nice display for your apps. Uh, let's see what else we got. If we go back to actually, where was I? Let's see some of these other ones. So we have like medical. If you were building a site or an app for like a doctor's office, there's a lot of options here. So Colorlib is a really cool site. All right. Next one we have is zero theme. I actually just found this. I haven't used it before, but some of the designs look pretty cool. I guess they have like 150 templates. Some are just regular responsive HTML5. Some are bootstrap. So if we take a look at this one here. Has some nice fading in effects. As we scroll down, you can see stuff kind of fades in nicely. This little shop view here. Yeah, so not bad. And it also has a responsive view. So if we click that, that'll show us the site within a mobile device. Which is pretty decent. Yeah, so, so there's some pretty nice ones here. So the next one is Style Show and I actually really like the designs here. I think they're really unique, kind of like uh, HTML5 up. Like if we take a look at this one here, go to the view demo. And it looks like we can choose different backgrounds. I'll choose the particles background. Yeah, so this is nice. I like how the, the icons are on the side here. You get the little fade in with the words, particles in the background. Really simple, but also I think really elegant. But this is like a like a countdown page 
more info. So if we click that brings us over probably some jQuery going on there. Uh, another one that I like is the first one. It's a kind of like a landing page for maybe, maybe a mobile app. If you built a mobile app, you, you needed some kind of sales page. I think this looks really nice. And it's a single page. So if I just if I click one of these links, it just kind of scrolls down to that area. So not bad at all. Next one is kind of a strange URL. It's HTML5 X CSS 3.com. And there's about 500 themes here. You can see 476 free website templates. And we'll go ahead and click on this one here. Gives you some some stats or whatever, some information, blog, personal. We'll take a look. And this is pretty nice. It's kind of like a resume of your animated progress bars with your skills. your experience works a little content modal here that pops up. Uh, I would change some things. I think the font, I don't really like the font and I think it's a little too small. Probably change some stuff up here, but all in all, I think it's it's pretty decent. These are all pretty decent for free themes. So that is HTML5 X CSS 3. And then this here, this a uh, a themes is an article that gives you 20 22 links to um, different admin themes. So if you wanted to build like a content management system or something like that, some of them are bootstrap. I believe some are just HTML. Some are. Yeah, this one is material design. So let's actually take a look at one of these. This is material dashboard. Oh, it is. It's a bootstrap for material. Oops, I don't want to download. I want to preview. So yeah, we have our stats up here. We have some nice looking charts. Nicely styled tables. Kind of like a um, let's get some tabs here. User profile. So, yeah, so this looks really good. And you could even use this to kind of map out your back end, you know, figure out something to build. Um, but going by this. But yeah, there's some really nice admin themes to check out. So let's see. The last one here is again just a, an article, but it, it's an article that gives you a bunch of links to e-commerce themes, which are rare. It's it's hard to find good um, uh, shopping cart themes. So we'll go ahead and take a look at one of these. So usually with an e-commerce theme, you're going to have a lot of different pages uh, because you have, you know, your your home page of you your uh, products, your list of products, your product details. So your details where you have your add to cart and descriptions and stuff like that. This is pretty in depth reviews. You have a review form, recommended products, similar products, uh, checkout, all your form fields, you have your cart down here. You have your, your cart link up here, login. So all this stuff is included, even like the 404 page. So this is a lot to this theme. This takes a lot to make and it's absolutely free. So uh, and obviously you can customize it and of course use your own products. But uh, yeah, there's there's a lot of quite a quite a few here if you want to check that out. All right, guys, so that's it. I don't want to take up too much time here, but um, if you're interested in any of these, check them out. And I understand if some of you guys don't like to use pre-made themes and you like to build all your own layouts. But, um, you know, I think there's there's plenty of situations where they can really come in handy. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and I'll see you next time.